So I call this liver elastography for non-stenographers. Okay, so liver elastography and the fibrotic liver. What's going on here? So obviously the stage of liver fibrosis is needed so we can determine the patient's prognosis and what kind of treatment they need. We can also evaluate for the progression of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease into non-alcoholic uh, steatohepatitis, NASH. And multiple studies are showing that elastography has, has really a high accuracy rate in differentiating compensated from decompensated cirrhosis. The important thing to remember that elastography is not measuring the amount of fibrosis. It's measuring how stiff the liver is, which sort of equates to how much uh, fibrosis is in that liver. So the first device that ever could do elastography was the fiber scan. So it was sort of pretty revolutionary. It measures the shear wave velocity to assess the stiffness of the tissue, liver tissue. Um, it's a blind technique. So, you know, basically, you know, they put it where they would think there's a lot of liver tissue and take their value from there. There's trouble with large people, even if you have one of the special transducers, and it's difficult to perform when ascites is present. Now, to me, having scanned thousands of liver during my career, I realize how people's livers can be in really different places when you would when you would expect where you expect them to be. Some people's liver is a little bit lower, some people's liver is really high up, like in their chest. Uh, so you know, they're just saying, okay, I, this rib space here, I should get some liver tissue. Um, well, maybe they don't. Maybe they or just get a little bit of liver tissue. You know, maybe they're going through a lot of vessels at this point. Uh, so to me, that's one of the big drawbacks with fiber skin. You know, we're taking a measurement based on the fact that this is all liver tissue that the sambium is going through. So then we got um, RFI, acoustic radiation force impulse. So this was pretty cool. So RFI, you generates these shear waves, which are going out to the side within the tissue. So we have what's called a push pulse. So that comes down, uh, interacts with the tissue and sends these sound waves out to the side. So like if you took your hand and slapped the puddle water, the ripples would be the shear waves. So the RF force, force pushes tissue in the direction of the ultrasound wave front. And the transfer of this energy causes tissue to move which generates these transverse waves. And then they measure how fast these transverse waves are going because the shear waves are gonna move slower in normal liver tissue and again, faster in that stiffer fibrotic tissue. And now we have some color things to help us out here. So again, we can put color map. Uh, so here we can see, we go to our colors over here. So it's sort of like, mid-range, this is good, less, this is all normal tissue. So this actually can help us make sure we get the highest measurement when we have these visual maps to help us so that we don't take a cursor and put it here where it's really low, um, or maybe even out here where maybe it's encompassing normal tissue and fibrotic tissue and we get more of the normal tissue. So this is a big help helping us really place where we wanna get that information from. Thank you.